Also guys, we are close to hitting 1K subscribers on this channel. So if you are not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to subscribe. I would like to hit that milestone. Thank you. Yo, what's up guys? I'm here hitting you up with a new video. So today we have the long awaited knockout video where I show you how to improve a knockout, push further into the ranks, maybe getting into even top 64. And that's just a general showcase of mine explaining to you the thought process, what to aim for, what to do in general with the knockout. So when it comes to knockout, we have general list, we have our tickets, which refresh every four hours, right? With up to 20 tickets. So the basic strategy is, first of all, first rule is pick and choose your fights. So we know we get different points from fighting people. In general, you want to aim for people who give you at least 10 points. So you can push as many points as possible. And let's just pick this first guy, for example. The first thing you have to keep in mind when you pick and choose your fights is who can you beat and who can you not beat? What comps can you beat with the aspas you have? Also, if you say like, um, how can I beat this team with my free to play units? With I only have three legendary aspas. You can't. So this is something, this is the real end game of this like right now. Knockout is the absolute PVP end game and you need the roster for it and you need the relics behind it to get as far as you possibly can so the first thing is when you have two teams right what team like you have your own teams what team can you beat with which calm so this guy for example has um two kind of pseudo tank teams so you have to keep in mind okay what kind of team do I want to bring against what? So for me, for example, I can tell like, okay, what he's using. So I know, okay, he's uh, bringing a Leora in his second team, a Sally in the second team, and he has a Gaius in his first team. So how do I want to deal with it? So for this first team, I do want to cleave him. And for the second team, I want to tank him. And then I just go into the battle. You have to make a preparation. Okay, what team do I want to use? And when you're ready, you just click battle and fight. What I basically do for this is I just press the battle. And as soon as we start the fight, which takes a moment, I just press, press the skip button immediately. And when you see that it takes a little bit longer to get into the victory or the defeat screen you already automatically know okay you won this battle and if it like if it appears immediately it's a defeat but if it takes longer you know you won the fight so we know we won this fight i don't take i will not even look any further into it i know okay i won this fight i can beat this guy with the team i'm using um, no need to look at it any further so for the second guy let me check real quick if it's my guildmate. No, that's not my guildmate. This is also not my guildmate. Let me check real quick. This is also not my guildmate. Okay, that's fine. So for the second guy here, for example, I know, okay, he has a Cecile, a Cecile, a Sally. He's using a lot of tanks right now. So I do want to bring my tank team against his first tank team. And for the second one, I want to cleave it in case I need it for the strategy so i know okay with this team i can beat his first team and with my second team i can beat the second team and this just increases my chances of getting 10 points so i press the button here again and then i just press skip and we won this battle as well so this is just basic strategy that that's just the absolute minimum that that's just the surface but let's assume you're losing a fight, right? Can also happen to you. So what can you do? I highly recommend just skipping at the beginning. If you win, that's fine. And if you lose, watch the replay of why you lost. 
And if you lost, the tip I can give you is you can also go into point war. Okay. And then you can just look for similar defenses. Just try to find similar defense which you had trouble with, which your team lost to. And if you've found someone who's using the exact same team you lost to, you can click on it. And then let's say you lost to this guy here, for example. Um, you can just test your knockout teams. Just try different comps, see what works for you. And just figure out what kind of team you can bring to defeat this specific defense. And once you figure that one out, you go back into knockout and try again. And if you win, what I can also tell you guys, what also helps for the future, if you know, okay, you, you beat someone with a specific defense, what you can do is, as a next step for remembering defenses, is just take a screenshot, use snipping tool if you're on PC with an emulator, or take a screenshot if you're using a phone or a tablet, and then use an Excel, for example. Then you type in the player name, for example, you, you type in Yopo, you take a screenshot of his defense, and you take a screenshot of the team you used against this person to win the battle. And this way, every time you face this specific person, because sometimes you can also say, okay, I can look at my records, right? But sometimes you do so many battles that you don't have the record anymore of the person you fought or won or against. And you sometimes you can also not watch the replay anymore. So just take screenshots, put it into an Excel list or somewhere you remember. So you know, okay, what team can I actually bring? to win against this person and then you can just repeat that and also we just look at the into the next one for the next one i can do either one of those two because he doesn't have an r2cj so i will cleave his first one and i will just tank his second one and i know it works then i press the button again and just press skip and one. There we go. We got another 10 points. And that's for that. And also you need to manage your resources well. That's also the next step of mine. It's not necessarily that good to just go all in at the beginning with your tickets. Push as far as you can, right? Because you also have a limited rotation with your reset. So you do one and you look, okay, what can I fight next? Because you could potentially push as far as you potentially can get, right? Like at top 10 or something and just assume at this point, right? You can just push as far as you can. But also what you have to keep in mind when other players do their attacks, they can just refresh and they will find you in their list and you potentially don't. Uh, you give them not just 9 points or 10 points, but 11 or 12 points. So they will look at your team. If they can beat you, they will beat you and then you will lose points. So the higher you get, the, the it's more likely that people will attack you if you don't have a strong defense. And all the grind you did was basically for nothing because you lose points. So the basic strategy for that is keep in mind, don't push as fast as you can in the early game. Save your tickets. Maybe you get a couple of wins in against weaker people and then at the end of knockout. So knockout resets at, on Saturday from Friday to Saturday, right? This is where you want to spend like close to reset with the rush hour. This is the time where you mostly want to spend your tickets on. Just push as far as you can get. And also you probably don't get that many attacks or probably even you get, but... If you, if you use all your tickets before even the rush hour starts, you will get a lot of attacks and like a, a lot of people will attack you and you will lose a lot of points and you cannot compensate for it. So you have, you will end up wherever you are at the end of the day then because you cannot even um, not manipulate, but you cannot, uh, uh, yeah, but, but you, you cannot manipulate your ranking anymore basically because you don't have any tickets left to uh, maybe push further 
or just sneak into the top 64 or even top 10 if you're a top 10 player. Um, and, and that will be difficult. So make sure that you're safe up your tickets. Don't spend them too heavily at the beginning because maybe on your last day, if you have like two free tickets left, it's potentially hard for you to get into a higher rank and um, which we all want to get right. So this is just my tips for you. Pick and choose your fights. Who can you beat? Who can you not beat? If you lose a fight, watch the replay, figure out why you lost against this team. And if you have trouble against a specific certain lineup, go into point war, look up defenses which are similar or the exact same you lost to, try figure out a strategy to beat that specific team, take screenshots, and also against people you win, take screenshots what you used so you know next time when you fight these people how you can beat them. And also, what else would I, did I want to say? Be resourceful with your tickets, spend them wisely. And if you're in the rush hour and you're not 100% confident beating someone, just skip that person. And also you have to work around with your, um, with your daily attempts left to reset your, the people you can attack. Be, be aware of those. Keep in mind how many tickets do I have? How many uh, resets do I have? Um, how potentially how many people can I even beat in my list keep that in mind because you don't want to lose any tickets and this way you can push as far as possible and that's how you improve a knockout as well so if you like this video and if I should uh, make another video about knockout leave a comment down below and I will make one see you next time bye bye